Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to learn about Flurry's algorithm and how we can use it to find Euler circuits. An Euler circuit in a graph is a circuit that uses every edge of the graph exactly once. So here we have a graph and an example of an Euler circuit would be if we started at A, and by the way, since it's a circuit, we're going to have to end at A too. We go from A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to F. Here we're gonna turn because we gotta get those edges in the middle if we're gonna hit every edge exactly once. We're gonna go to D and then to B and then to F and then back to A again. So this is an example of an Euler circuit. It's a circuit because it begins and ends at the same place. It's an Euler circuit because it hits every edge exactly once. We also learned Euler's theorem that if we have a connected graph, if the graph has an Euler circuit, then it implies that vertices of the graph each have even degree. And if we know that the vertices of the graph each have even degree, then the graph must have an Euler circuit. Another definition that we're going to need is a cut edge. A cut edge in a graph is an edge whose removal disconnects a component of the graph. For example, in this graph, if we were to remove edge CE, then the graph would no longer be connected. It would be separated into two completely isolated components. In fact, in this graph, both CE and GH are cut edges because if GH were removed, we would also have two components. We would have the component with everything except H and then the component with just H by itself. So CE and GH are the cut edges in this graph, but no other edges are cut edges because you could remove them and the graph would still be connected. Let's identify the cut edges in this graph. Notice that if CE were removed, the graph would have two separate components. This is also the case if EF were removed or if ED were removed. So CE, DE, and EF are all cut edges. If any one is removed, it would disconnect the graph. Can you identify any cut edges on this graph? If you said FG, you're right. Removing FG would separate this graph into two completely distinct components. Now, Flurry's algorithm. Flurry's algorithm can be used to find an Euler circuit in any connected graph in which each vertex has even degree. Step one, we're gonna start at any vertex and go along any edge from this vertex to another vertex. Remove this edge from the graph. You're now on a vertex of the revised graph. Choose any edge from this vertex, but not a cut edge, unless you have no other option. Go along your chosen edge, remove this edge from the graph. Repeat step two until you have used all the edges and gotten back to the vertex at which you started. It's important as you go to make a note of the path that you followed. So we're gonna find an Euler circuit using Flurry's algorithm. We're gonna start with going from vertex B to vertex C, and here I've removed that edge from the graph. Make a note to yourself that you've gone from B to C. Once you get to C, you have an option of removing C to D, C to E, or C to F. Since none of these are cut edges, I just went ahead and picked one and I removed C to F. So I'm gonna make a note to myself that I went from C to F. From F, we don't have any option. We have to go to D because there's no, no other edge that connects to F. So I've removed F to D, so let's make a note of that. Now that we're at D, we have several options. We can go to E, we can go to C, or we can go to A. Notice that if we go to A, we're removing a cut edge. We would be creating two completely distinct graphs. So instead, I chose to remove DE. But now that I'm here, I can see that for each edge after this, I have absolutely only one option. So from E to C, I will have to remove the edge, and then I'll have to remove C to D, and then I'll have to remove D to A, and then I'll have to remove A to B. And that will bring me back by the way, to the point at which I started. And since we've covered each edge exactly once, what we've just found 
is an Euler circuit. Let's try this one more time. Here's another graph. We're going to use Fleury's algorithm to find an Euler circuit beginning and ending at B. So if we're beginning at B, we have several options for where we want to go first. We could go to D, we could go to C, we could go to A, or we could go to F. And none of these appears to be a cut edge such that if we removed it, it would cause a disconnected graph. So I chose to go from B to F. Now that we're at F, we have a couple of options. We can go to A, we can go to E, or we can go to D. Once again, none of these appears to be a cut edge such that if we removed it, it would cause a disconnection. So I've decided just randomly that I'm going to go to A. So I've removed F to A. Now that I'm at A, I can either go from A to B or A to C or A to D. And once again, it doesn't seem to appear that if I removed any one of these edges that I would create a disconnected graph. So I chose to just go to B. So let's remove that one. Now that I'm at B, I can either go from B to D or from B to C. Those are my only two options. Doesn't look like either of these will cause a disconnection. Neither of them are cut edges, so I decided that I would just go B to D. But now that we're at D, we have to be careful. We can go D to F, D to E, or D to A, but notice that D to A is a cut edge. If I removed it, I would have two separate components, so I can't remove that one. So instead, I decided to go D to F. So I removed D to F, and now for the rest, I will have only one option. From F, I have to go to E. From E, I have to go to D. From D, I have to go to A. From A, I have to go to C and from C I have to go to B. And so now I'm back where I started. So I've created a circuit and more importantly, I know I've only crossed each edge exactly once. So I have an Euler circuit. Note that a graph that has an Euler circuit always has more than one Euler circuit as well. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video.